Welcome to this class. Today we're going to study the cause and effect pattern of organization. So let's get started. In its website, the University of Valencia in Orlando, Florida states that the purpose of academic writing is to present a number of ideas that somehow fit together to make sense. Sometimes the amount of new concepts, new words, and facts can be very large and complex. Professors, textbook authors, and researchers use a framework or plan that helps to communicate their ideas clearly. There are several types of plans called organizational patterns that can be identified in academic writing. They help the author to organize his or her ideas in a way that makes sense and hopefully they help you to understand the material being presented. As I mentioned before, today we are going to study the cause and effect pattern of organization. In their book, Advanced Reading Power, Nicoletti and Jeffries explained that in this pattern, the writer's main idea is that one event or action caused another event or action. They present there a list of different keywords and phrases we may find when we are reading material written in the cause and effect pattern. Keywords, phrases in the main idea and the signal words for details are the same and often include the following lists. Let's read them. Causes, leads to, is the cause of, results in, creates, brings about, makes, provokes, gives rise to, contributes to, is due to, is the result of, comes from, results from, is produced by, is a consequence of, follows, and is caused by. Let's start working with the cause and effect pattern. In his book, 10 Steps to Building College Reading Skills, Langan introduces us to the topic with a couple of examples. Read and choose the item that is easier to understand. Let's read both. Nina cares for her elderly parents. She has very little free time. The second one says, because Nina cares for her elderly parents, she has very little free time. If you chose the second one, that is correct. Langan explains that in the first item, we are not sure of the relationship between the two sentences. Does Nina have little free time with which to care for her parents? Or does she have little free time because she cared for her parents? The word because in the second item shows the connection between the two ideas. Because and words like it are known as cause and effect words. Langan states that cause and effect words signal that the author is explaining the reason why something happened or the results of something. One event caused another to happen. Here are some common cause and effect words that Langan presents in his textbook, 10 Steps to Building College Reading Skills. Let's read them. Therefore, result or as a result, cause, effect, so, effect, explanation, due to, because or because of, as a consequence, consequently, since, thus, results in, leads to, and reason. The following items contain cause and effect words. Notice how these words introduce a reason for something or a result of something. Let's read them. The first one says, Because Sunday night is the most popular night for watching TV, miniseries always begin then. Second one, One father discovered that his baby quieted down when riding a car. As a result, he invented a gadget for the crib that sounds and feels like a moving car. 
Now let's continue practicing. Complete each sentence with suitable cause and effect words or phrase from the previous box. Try to use a variety of transitions. Let's read the sentences. Number one, blank. There's no room in your mouth for your wisdom teeth. They will have to be removed. Number two, Gail wanted a large wedding reception. Blank, her parents had to rent a hall. Number three, blank, my roommate has never applied for a full-time job before. He needed help in writing a resume. And number four, a surveyor customers showed that many of them lived or worked within five miles of Westbridge. Blank, the bank opened a branch office there. Now you can have a discussion with your tutor and peers about the cause and effect word or phrase that best complete the previous sentences. Now that we have studied and practiced with cause and effect words, let's continue with the cause and effect pattern. Langer states that authors don't just tell what happened, they both describe what has happened and try to explain why. For example, a sociology textbook would not just say that the test scores of American students have declined for most of the last 30 years. The book would also explain the likely reasons why this decline has taken place. Or a health textbook would not just describe that ways that medical care has changed in the last few years. It would also examine the causes of such changes. Now let's practice. Arrange the following group of sentences in an order that makes sense. Decide which sentence will be number one, number two, and number three. The result will be a short paragraph. Let's read the sentences. Because drivers are tired at the end of the day, they are not able to respond quickly enough to changes in traffic. Traffic accidents are more likely to result during evening rush hour. Accidents are also caused by speeding as drivers try to get home as quickly as possible. As the words because, result, and cause suggest, this paragraph is organized in a cause and effect pattern. In paragraph form, the sentences would read as follows. Traffic accidents are more likely to result during evening rush hour because drivers are tired at the end of the day. They are not able to respond quickly enough to changes in traffic. Accidents are also caused by speeding as drivers try to get home as quickly as possible. The paragraph begins with an effect that more accidents occur during rush hour, and then follows with two causes. Now let's take a look at a cause and effect paragraph. Read the paragraph below and see if you can answer the questions about cause and effect. Let's read. There are several reasons people daydream. One is to escape boring jobs. Workers in such jobs often imagine themselves doing something else. Another cause of daydreaming is make up for some missing need. For example, volunteers who went on semi-starvation diets for six months daydreamed about food to make up for what was missing in their lives. The urge to let go of anger safely is another explanation for daydreaming. If an angry student imagines dropping an instructor out of a classroom window, for instance, it might help him or her to laugh and let go of the anger. People also use daydreaming to plan for the future, so that by the time they face the situations they imagine, they will know what to say and how to act. Now, let's answer the questions. Number one, what are the four causes described in this paragraph? You may pause the video to answer this question, then play it again to verify your answers.
The four causes described in the paragraph are the following. Letter A, to escape boring jobs. Letter B, to make up for some missing need. Letter C, to let go of anger. And finally, letter D, to plan for the future. Let's continue with the next question. Second one, what is the effect of these causes? Pause the video to think about it. Then play it again to check your choice. The effect of these causes is daydreaming. Question number three. What three cause-effect signal words or phrases are used? One more time, you may pause the video to think about your answer, then play it again to verify your choices. The three signal words or phrases are the following. Letter A, reasons. Letter B, cause, and letter C, explanation. Langan states that a paragraph topic sentence often indicates its pattern of organization. So, finding the topic sentence of a paragraph may help you decide on its pattern of organization. Try, for instance, to guess the pattern of the paragraph with this topic sentence. Let's read it. For various reasons, as many as half of all battered women do not leave their husbands, who continue to abuse them. The word reasons suggests that the paragraph will discuss why a number of abused women stay with their husbands. This topic sentence helps us guess that the paragraph will probably be a cause and effect pattern. Keep in mind that a paragraph or a longer passage is often made up of more than one pattern of organization. For instance, the paragraph about the reasons for daydreaming uses a cause-effect pattern, but the reasons themselves, to escape boring jobs, to make up for being deprived of something basic, to let go of anger safely, and to plan for the future, are presented as a list of items. In other words, the paragraph combines two patterns. Consider the following passage. People with more wealth tend to have more power. This fact is apparent in the domination of top government positions by the wealthy. Higher income persons are also more likely to feel a strong sense of power. As a result, they are more likely to be politically active, working to keep or increase their power. In contrast, lower income people are more likely to feel powerless to influence major political decisions. Therefore, they are more indifferent to politics and less likely to be involved in political activity. The paragraph partly uses a contrast pattern. Noting the difference between higher income people and lower income people with regard to political activity, but it also uses a cause effect pattern. It describes the effect of feeling a sense of power or feeling no sense of power. Well, this is all for today's class. We encourage you to continue practicing with patterns of organization. Thank you very much for your attention.